Yeah. Yeah. So, but originally it was the Talking Dead. Okay. That's oh. how that's how it was released. But a really yeah. well known comic creator and the company that he released his TV show from. Yeah, they didn't took issue it. with that. Well, we filed for a trademark. In 2017. 2017. August okay. 2017. Within three weeks, we received a cease and desist. We said, go fuck yourself. Okay. <laughs> and this you is so now we all know who this is. We're talking yes. about AMC. Now was did it come from AMC or was yes. it from Kirkman? It came, it came from, from AMC. AMC. Okay. Interesting. No, yeah, because of, at that nobody time, tells me what I can and cannot do. What season was was uh, Walking Dead on at that point? Because I think their highest ratings were what around season three or four. Yeah, they were. I was going to say they went down the shitter after season three. I think. Yeah, of were, course. <laughs> that's when I jumped. So right? I think I, I think, think it was, it was like seven or eight. Seven or eight. Yeah. Yeah. It was seven okay. Or eight. So it was still probably very lucrative for them. I, I could see well, why. It was very lucrative for them in many respects because, I mean, don't get me wrong. It was a great show in its time, you know, at the beginning. Um, but when they started going to the, you know, people killing people and less of the zombie aspect, it became just yeah. another shit show. Yeah. Um, but they actually solidified trademarks in just about every single category that's humanly possible. With like uh, like With, some variation of like whether they, were, okay. whether they were doing it or not, they were buying the trademarks. Oh, I believe that. Like I, I when they have a property like that, any studio or or you know, well, you know, well the sad starts, the sad thing is is you know when this all went down, you know, uh, we did a whole shitload ton of research, and there were dozens and dozens of trademarks. Okay, that were abandoned. Okay, okay. The crawling dead, the running dead, the swimming dead, the golf, you fucking name it. Okay. Squished, squished, squished. Yep. I mean, the running dead was a 5K road race that was a non profit. And they had a trademark would, where people would run and zombies would chase them out of the woods. I remember that. Great idea. Yeah. Leave, it, leave them alone, man. What the <laughs> fuck is your problem? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, wait. So you're it. saying that. AMC went after all of these people. They all yes. received those letters. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So so anybody that, so did they did they serve up George Romero too? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they actually up like, George Romero and yeah. they served him the papers. <laughs> From yeah, what right? I understand, the original tie or the original name of The Walking Dead, comic, comic book. Okay. Okay. Was not The Walking Dead. It no. was. Well, Night of the Living Dead. Night of the uh, Night of the Living Dead, or something like that. And Romero and stepped up and Romero said, "No fucking stepped way!" Stepped in and said, "Fuck you! You can't do that." Okay. So what they did is they reverted back to the '30s, which was the Boris Karloff movie, The Walking Dead. It was never trademarked, and they fucking snagged it. Gotcha. And then okay. another movie came out in 1993, The Walking Dead. The Walking yep. Dead about the which Vietnam. Is all about the yeah. Vietnam, right? Squadron African Americans oh. in the in the Vietnam right. War. Right. right. So, right. First so what did they do with that? They did don't they just... have the right. Well, they they didn't get the trademark. trademark. They didn't get the trademark until I want to say it was closer to two thousand. Was when yeah. I started seeing like all the trademark application stuff that they had. Okay. Um, basically, what they were doing is they're squashing anything that has the blanking dead. Doesn't matter what it is or what it's associated with. Essentially, trying to create a monopoly within the industry. And so they, you know, and like you guys, it, it doesn't fall under parody law or anything like that. We didn't huh? want to be a parody. No. Okay. Yeah, we're not a parody. Because you'd have to insert like weird comedy and stuff, force it in, right? If you right. Did that. Well, yeah, that right. They're, they're just naturally funny. Well, then right, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> when you become a parody, yeah. you're automatically associated with that show. Yeah. Because you're a parody I see what you're of, saying. Yeah, yeah, you're a parody of one. We didn't Dead. want to do that. I mean, they even went to the point where they were claiming and, and accusing us that Old Red which is was a, too similar to Lucille. Yeah, which Old Red, if you don't know, is a five foot bong with four, gutter, uh, four foot bong with gutter spikes that stick out of it. Yeah, you've seen it at the show. Yeah. Oh um, my God. You know, yeah. so when, when they hit us with that, I turned, I flipped it right back on them and I said, well, you're not the first one to use a baseball bat with barbed wire. 
Yeah. Because Hacksaw Jim Duggan used that shit. Not in the 70s. In, in the fucking, no, it was 80s. In the 80s. 80s, he introduced that bat with the barbed wire, and then Mick Foley picked it up right Mick, after yeah. him. Yeah, that's true. Right. So, so paint a picture for us. Like, did you guys have to, like, go to, like, AMC headquarters and, and no, like, everything meet with all their... Oh, okay. Everything was done online. Uh, okay. We had multiple conference calls with their attorney and the trademark attorney. Okay. Um, yep. and let's back up a little bit. We, we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we got the trademark. Know, they wanted a number for us to go away. Yeah. But, <laughs> they, okay. didn't, they didn't like the number. But before, <laughs> before all that happened, we got the trademark from the USPTO. Which means okay. they, was approved. It, yeah. So okay. So oh, so you guys had some leverage here. Well, yeah. Like so it. the trademark okay. was approved, and within now it's getting good, right, John? Within, within a know. month of getting the <laughs> trademark, we were yeah. opposed by AMC and Robert Kirkman's attorney. Yes. So That's we got him. Oh wow. That's when the opposition started. My God, and it's Basically, like and Kirkman was just copying yeah. George Romero. It's like. It's you like, know what I mean? Like, it's like, like he doesn't have like this unbelievably original concept. You know what I mean? Like, here, here's what, a guy what, what who's a, got the independent wow. comic of the of the ages, right? It yes. gets made into and a now TV he's show. picking up, picking on independent like, creators, it, yeah. right? That's my point. It's like, dude, you you've made the dream happen for yourself. In my like, personal opinion, and he, he should have came out. Down. He should have came out. And he sort of said, this is a fantastic idea. Let's collaborate and let's make something fucking happen. Yeah. Instead, he it, just tried to shut him. us up and fucking shut us down. Fuck you. <laughs> Don't get <laughs> no. going. But fuck that, you. They, that, <laughs> hey, that would be like us like in the indie circles shooting down our co-creators. You know what I mean? Right. Like, people well, yeah. Community, it, just, it blows my mind. Well, you know, well, I mean, like... Robert Kirkman, yeah, he started off as an indie guy, but now can you call him really indie now? I mean, no, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of like, right, indie, right. How many people walk in him, fresh? But indie's not one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened from there? What? So you guys had the you guys well, had we the spent trademark. three years, three years. It. Holy shit! Yeah, wow. three years battling. How many uh, conference calls was that? Was that like one every <laughs> well, couple months or? I'll yeah, tell it was you, like four or five. Oh wow! Okay, it was um, thousands of hours of research, and, yeah, and writing and trying to trying to respond and answer to legal documents. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, we don't have so, the money for lawyers, so we did the best we could. Right, right, right. What were you going to say, Johnny? I was just going to say, throughout all of that, through all the legal battles. Everything. These guys were still remaining creative. We're still hitting the convention circuit, and we're still plowing forward with their book, which is quite respectable. Most people, if they run into legal issues, it's like they run away and hide. Right. It's yeah. a fervent halt. No, you yeah, guys you know. did the opposite. You guys ran towards it. I will right. say. I will say this. It was like being ass raped by a cactus with no lube. <laughs> okay. Um, well, what it did is, it, is it literally lit a or fire? Loose <laughs> yeah, right, right. It lit a fire under our asses to to push this even further and harder than most people probably would have. Yeah, you it's know? almost like you gotta like you gotta come back stronger to just show them, like, well, you know, we, hey, we, we're we, you know, go ahead. No, I was gonna say. Hey, we're, you know, we're creators too, and we have a property that we're you know, trying to do. You right. know what I mean? Like, well, we, you know, we, tr we, what we did was we said, okay, this is publicity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, all publicity is so, good, whether it's what bad or do? good, you know? I hop on my computer and I send a message to TMZ. Well, they picked the fucking story up. Awesome. <laughs> Which right? is That's fantastic. That yeah. is essentially. Help? When you all across the country and all across Canada, awesome. Now, did that help with in the war against these guys? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. But it let everybody know that we existed. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's good. I mean, basically, it boils down to the USPTO gave us the trademark. Okay, refused they, to have our back. Refused to have our back because they were supposed to do their job. And make okay. sure that it didn't conflict. We lost 
the trademark um, last year. So wait, year. did they just did they just take it away? Or, yeah. Or, well, yeah. what happens is it goes Basically. to the TTAB. Which okay. is a class of the USPTO. It's a way to okay. cover your ass and, and basically take people's money. The, so, US, the USPTO held took no responsibility. So Zero. They, they gave you guys the trademark, but then they were like, oh, you know, I'm sorry, this, you know, we can't we can't keep this now. Right. The well, TTAB, yeah, because they didn't do the research. Well, the TTAB is a trademark trial and appeal board. Okay. They're the ones who took it away. Okay. But so anytime a the dispute USPTO. comes out, it goes to these guys, and then they decide whether the trademark holds or not. Is that, yeah. is that accurate? Yeah. Okay. Basically, they did. Um, Kirkman's lawyers did a um, survey, okay. which was a controlled survey, um, and they got less than sixteen percent of the populace that they controlled to say that it could could have been confusing. Could was that done. that was. was the one factor that we lost the trade. So with. that's why we so lost the trademark. The eight million other zombie movies and shows that are out there aren't confusing to The Walking Dead, but this one that's clearly nothing like The Walking Dead is going to be confusing. <laughs> do you know why? Do you know why? Lawyers, man. Yeah, Freaking but do you know why? Lawyers. Because we were trademarking it. Right. Because you weren't just line. like a yeah right. Because then, then they get right into it with you. And they, they probably smelled uh, blood in the water because you guys didn't have lawyers, right? So they're like, oh, we're going to just push these guys around, you know? Right. I can well, see AMC doing I'll, that. I'll with, tell like, you, their... you know, for okay. anybody out there listening, apply for your trademark. Because if we didn't have the trademark okay, and they found out about us, it would have been a civil suit. Oh, interesting. Because that yeah. so that protected you in a way. It protected in a way. Us. In a they way. In a way. Have, there was no monetary exchanges. Okay. Right. You follow me? Yeah. So they almost looked at it like, well, it was more like the trademark office's fault for giving it to you. Right. And you guys were kind of almost like a victim of that in a way. Right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna wow. say, number one, you you wouldn't take the money, so they pro hypothetically theorizing they probably greased some palms at that board and helped kind of move things along right well and the, again the, that's just a theory that i can't say that that's what happened but well, that's two, what i believe right two you don't make friends sometimes when you have a very successful idea or concept on your hands, and you know you have a successful idea or concept in your hands when enemies start coming after you. Correct. And th and there you are, right? Well, we knew we had something as soon as we received that letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like you have you know like a little shield against these uh, you know gigantic giants coming at you. You know. <laughs> well, a AMC has been in court battles ever since they started. Yeah, because they're one of the many. In, never mind. I'm not going to get into AMC. I don't yeah. really. Fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we give them enough. Uh, yeah. you know they so, can keep yeah. they can keep rerunning the same shit over and over again. I'm that's still con I'm still considering starting another business. Okay. Called uh. AMC. <laughs> <laughs> American Medical Cannabis. Fuck you. Yes, I like that. Let them know if they're infringing on your brand. What about that's what right. about this? Poking bad, you know, like you could do like oh, you know, yeah. or better call. Uh, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> a, a high school English teacher who decides to uh, start growing <laughs> weed. I like and that. makes the you best know. weed because he's a science teacher. Well, the yeah. thing is, the thing is, is we could have saved The Walking Dead. No, we couldn't have. That was that show was gone after three. Nice try. If <laughs> if they played their cards right. Well, it's yeah. like um, uh, there's, you know, the thing with Walking Dead, like, uh, and the reason I dropped off after like season three, it's like when you have like a storyline like that, all that can happen is, you know, like you have a governor type. Once he's gone, all they can do is make a worse guy that they have to fight in the next two seasons. Right. And it's like it's like a rinse and repeat kind of formula, you know. And it's like yep. that's why people lose interest because you're they're throwing the same story at you every season. Right. Right. You know, you know? Like people love what we're doing because it's ridiculously stupid. 
Right, and you're doing something different with it, right? I like yeah, Harry's suggestion of... in the chat. He goes, look who's talking. Yeah. <laughs> right? There you go. Well, yeah, you, know, you can have the cannabis talking, you know, like, uh, yeah, like you know, look who's... It's Actually, developing. Go ahead. go ahead. I was going to say, before we get into that, I wanted to, like, just wrap up this, like, AMC thing real quick. Didn't we, we do that? I told well, you. Kind of, like, I, I, told, so I told you, the whole cactus, no lube. I mean, I, I summed it up real, <laughs> real quick. End. Okay. <laughs> No, I just wanted to. So, how did they resolve it? Like, how? What was the last like interaction? The very last interaction we had was from Kirkman's lawyers. Yeah. Okay. After we, after we, after changed we, the name. after we lost the trademark and we changed the name. Okay, so that's where still toking or what nope. was it? No, nope. toking, toking with, the, with dead. the dead. Toking with the dead came yeah. from. Okay. okay. Right. We received an email. Uh, basically, it said that as you are well aware. Uh, you know, uh, you have lost your trademark. We see that you have changed the name to Toking with the Dead. And my client has informed me to close the file on this case. Fucking assholes. Interesting. So the big thing was they didn't want it called the Toking Dead. Right. Correct. Right. I'm still going to call it that. I mean, <laughs> you know what? Everybody calls us the Token Dead dudes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. so, so you guys win in the when end. You guys have already established yourself as that. It's well, like babe, it's like baby Yoda. They could try right. to tell him his name is Grogu. That's fucking baby Yoda. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, 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 they suggested we, we change it to the dead tokers. Okay. Fuck that. Yeah, that's Fuck stupid. You. That does yeah. Yeah, I mean yeah. the bottom line you, is if you look at the logo, it still looks the same. Yeah, no, it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, See, if you didn't know genius. better, it would easily roll off the tongue that the old name. You know what I mean? We were, right. just we were aesthetically, well, it all looks the same. We were very well prepared. Yeah, we we. I mean, from the day that we got the letter up until the time we lost the trademark, we fought the shit out of them. They spent a shitload of money. We just spent our time. Yeah, and learned so, a lot. And learn yeah, a lot, no, you know. Good. So we kind of hit them in the pocket one way or another. I'm glad you guys made them work <laughs> for it. Put it that yeah, way. Yeah, and I'm glad you guys are sharing it here because, like, you know, yeah. indie creators that might run into this could, you yeah, know, you know, and learn what, what to do to protect themselves a little bit. At the, you know, at the same time, behind the scenes, we were building a huge fan base because of our content, mm -hmm. not because of our name, because of who we are. You right. guys, have, you guys have seen us at shows. You yeah. see how we interact with everybody. Oh, you know, party and, to see you guys. At and shows. and, and that's fun. the other thing, too, is that you guys have two solid communities that are backing you. You have the cannabis community and you have the comics community.